another one he said to Dean yesterday he said let's uh, wonder what that ruby will be like on these um, on these slabs because they're only sandstone sandstone slabs what are you saying Dean well like you said if it can cut through 10 mil porcelain I've been using it to toe and uh, Wiping the dust off. Wiping the dust off. Wiping the dust off. Hello. <laughs> to be getting used again. Yes. Small tiling job on tomorrow. Uh, fireplace. Yes. Pop by. Right. Get back to you. So as you can see here, I'm putting the uh, bed down to lay these sets in. I'm doing a bit of a voiceover because I'm not too clued up on the music front yet and I thought I'd take a bit of the uh, responsibility in doing a bit of the editing so you'll have to let us know in the comments what you think of it or if you think Dean should get back onto it. So I'm just putting these 50mm cuts in here at the back and I'm working my way down, putting them all in the SBR. And this is just using up the waste. Using up the waste from all the offcuts from round the garden. Place them all in. Jobs are good. What are you saying about this step? Very, very nice. What we've done here, because of the bond on the uh, on the slabbing, I think personally that putting a slab in two slabs there, we worked it out for two slabs, but it'd break the bond in the slabs, and it perhaps would look like it wasn't thought about. So instead of chucking all the slivers off the cuts that we've had, chucking them in the tip. I said to Dean, I said, why don't we just cut 100, 100 by 100 uh, little cobbles? Because you buy these in cobbles, which costs you a fortune. So we just spent spent a bit of time this morning, cut them, mark to mark, cut them, laying them in, SBR on the bottom, like that, in there, scrape them up the side. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think in the comments? <laughs> Someone said about a slogan or a new phrase. New phrase. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. We could have put the slabs in and carried the bond on from the actual patio area itself. But I think this idea that Scott suggested will look much nicer. And it just shows, I mean, we're yet to get any customers that want any real nice detailed work challenging work i mean i i this is i like stuff like this do you know what i mean i think it's just it's easy it's easy just doing straight nick and it just shows that you actually take a bit of pride in your work when you just want to go that little bit extra mile i mean he didn't ask for this but he's getting it anyway he said whatever didn't he, he whatever said, do whatever, whatever you want whatever i'm not bothered but when he sees that, he will probably have the biggest wet patch in his face. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. I was laughing yesterday when I put that video on. Your, your, your pocket's actually hanging out the back of your shorts now. Was it? Yeah. They've got to be in the bin now, them shorts. No. No? No, they will be. they'll be used on the next sunny day some of these see I'll put the bed on put the bed on here about 15 mil from the top 15 20 mil from the top but as you can see the variation in thicknesses in some of these slabs I mean you've got some that are 20 mil and you've got some that are 15 mil so it's a bit of, it's a bit of one of them try out test and see but what i'm going to do once i put them all in is because some will be a little bit high and a bit all over the place but 
I'm just going to get a board and I'm going to place the board over the top of it, same size. I'm just going to give it a nice little tap all over. So anywhere, because it'll be nice, straight flat board, nicely bump, 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 bump. So it won't, it's pointless, pointless doing that now with these. You might as well just slap that. No point, just place them in until you can see the SBR squeezing out. And once that's got resin in, and what what we what I've done here as well is because what I've noticed with doing this um, this sleeper this uh, sleeper work is when you've got slabs right up to uh, with a 10 mil joint or a 15 mil joint up against the timber surface, we're going to try and avoid that as much as possible because once the once the timber shrunk and it's dried out more. What happens is you get um, you get a, an airline crack. You get a crack, a millimetre, couple of millimetres crack where the timber is retracted, but the, the resin hasn't moved. So then you end up with an horrible, bit of an horrible line down. So we won't be doing that anymore. Look, look at these cuts. Just check these cuts out. So the resin in there, it'll be nout. So we won't get that horrible, that horrible Liney, liney, liney. And it's all by eye. It's all by eye. It's all by eye. We don't do anything here. We don't do anything here by you. And the grass. The grass looks lovely. Is down. Nice job. You can just slightly see there. I know Scott's mentioned it, that line down there. It's not lifted or anything. It's just where it was fucked rolled up on the uh, on that tube that'll settle but it's nice very nice and what do you think about these um this golden gravel situation because me and scott think it's it's just not going to look right once his garden's done he just wants to spread it out we think we should we should spread all the all the gravel out get a nice couple of established plants in there plant them fill it up with bark just make it look nice and fresh and that fence panel there is very level so i know you've just seen us put those sets in just going to give you a quick clip now of cutting all those um scrap bits of slab up that still saw is one loud mother I tell you that now. You literally have you can't use that still saw without those um, ear muffs in. There we go, having a quick puff as usual. Someone did say the other day, keep off them puffs. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. So yeah, we're just laying those um, sets out now on the edge of the board, marking out, working out the gaps for the joints. See so, you now it's going work and, and we worked out there that it was going to be fifty mil for the back step, uh, for the back of the step for the cutter. So that's going in at the back underneath the sill. Time lapse, very important, keeping all that crap down. It goes absolutely everywhere. We do need to get a dust suppression or a new still saw with dust suppression on. So guys, have you just seen what well, I've that, just done? That was there. Earlier on, I cut all those sets. I put a full bed in. I placed them all in, got a piece of board, same size, and tamped it down nice and light, just so the SBR's just sipping out through the sides. I'm just going to turn you around and show you exactly what it looks like now. It's there we go. And there we have it. So let us know in the comments below what you think of that step. If you like that step, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Notification bell. Click that and you'll be notified every time we find every time we do a video. Check it out later. Good evening. We're going to a job now. YouTube subscribe.
subscriber who wants a job doing but will not go back because he wants extras he's changed his mind on a few bits and bobs so we're going back and last time we got we went he showed us the neighbours garden down here yeah. like he showed us the neighbours fencing job so I'm going to show you the fencing job and it's the worst you've ever seen what are you say? <laughs> Classic baby. <laughs> uh, so if you think some of the other work that we've showed is bad, wait till you see this. People are actually earning a living doing these kind of things for people. Yeah. It's funny. It's, well, it's not funny, it's shocking really, but if people are willing to pay for it, then Jesus. But you'll see for you now anyway. So, catch up with you in a minute. Have you ever seen a bottle holder like this? Well, let's face it. <laughs> well, that. let's face it. It's in the winter yet, so there ain't coats go no coats going on there, is it? No. Who's the winner of the guess of the stump? Oh, I'll tell you now. Someone hit it. It up quite early last night, didn't it? Yeah. It is. That's it. Look at that. That's the stump that came out of that hole, and that took 58 minutes. 50, 58 minutes on the nose. Um, so, Dean, who was the winner? Wayne Neal. Wayne Neal. So, 58 minutes bang on the money. Yeah, 58 minutes, Wayne. That was what it took. That hand now isn't too bad. That hand, if you can see that, is absolutely shot to shy show. So, yeah, um, so yeah, so that's that. Right, we're at this customer's house. Wayne, YouTube supporter and customer in the near future, has just said to me, do we dot and dab? <laughs> I should have said before if I'd have lifted this slab up beforehand, dot and dab it'd have been better than that. <laughs> Man alive. He knows we don't dot and dab, don't you Wayne? I do. And we've got some metal to show you. Have we Wayne? Yes. Let's go have a look. Let's go have, let's go have a look. We were gonna show you last time we came. This. Neighbours have had some work done, and um, I don't even know. I'm speechless. Actually. <laughs> what we said? What happened here, Wayne? That was the original fence, that bottom bit, what's holding up the concrete there. Yeah. So we got the builders to put a new fence up. That post slipped back there, and they nailed it <laughs> to the tree. <laughs> looking, oh my God! Just come here. Just come here. Show YouTube what's going on here. Look at this. I could, I can pull their nails out, I'm sure <laughs> I can. So they came back, shored up that post by pouring concrete it there. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that. But, to actually push the old fence over. Well, they just tipped it on, they tipped yeah. that concrete onto the old fence. That concrete's rock hard. <laughs> Shocking. Just what you'd expect, isn't it? Is it as hard as concrete? So this is a uh, in the pipeline. Yeah. We turf the whole of the back garden, dig out, soak away in the back there. This corner here, three raised planters, dropping down to two steps there extending the grass here another 1.3 out this way sleepers dropping down then down to two was it way yeah to two 1.2 out and then he's having six steps all the way down there and then he's having the whole patio area in large 2b2 blend 2b2 so stay tuned for that one Anyway, 
Definitely. Okay.